Petronas Chemicals Group is selling half of its stake in wholly owned PRPC polymers to Saudi Aramco for about 3.8 billion ringgit to share the unit's business risk. The stake will be held by Saudi Aramco's wholly owned subsidiary Aramco Overseas. The deal includes the divestment of 50% of any shareholder loans held by Petronas Chemicals Group in PRPC polymers to Aramco Overseas. As a result of the exercise, Petronas Chemicals Group will have a positive cash flow impact by decreasing its CAPEX commitment. This will provide the group with the financial flexibility to pursue other strategic growth projects. Quap is far from done investing in the tech space. After investing in Uber, it's now setting aside up to 1% of its over 100 billion ringgit fund size for tech-based investments. CEO Wan Kamaru Zaman Wan Ahmad says, among others, Quap will be meeting the Chinese behemoth Alibaba to talk about potential investment in its e-commerce retail fund. Currently, Quap's investment in tech is still well below the 1% asset allocation limit, just at 70 million USD. 30 million of which went to Uber, 20 million went to Tech Ventures, and another 20 million went to Viscous Capital. The retirement fund is also looking at local technology champions that are capable of growing beyond the domestic market. However, it's in no hurry to increase its exposure in the tech space and will gradually do so when the opportunities present itself. It's confirmed, Sultan Ibrahim Sultan Iskandar is now a substantial shareholder of Bujaya Assets. Bujaya Asset is of course the developer of Bujaya Times Square in Kuala Lumpur, one of the country's largest retail and commercial projects. According to a bursa filing, the Johor ruler bought 80 million shares or a 6.7% stake in the company last Wednesday, boosting his holding to 10.09%. Tycoon Vincent Tan had sold the shares off-market last week, and sources told The Edge that Sultan Ibrahim is likely to continue to mop up more Brajaya Asset shares. Interestingly, the Johor ruler had already invested in several companies in which Tan also had a stake in it. They are 7-Eleven Malaysia, Red Tone International and U-Mobile. Mitsubishi UFJ Financial Group or MUFG has completed the disposal of its entire 4.56% stake in CIMB Group. Malaysian and foreign institutional investors have bought the stake at between 6 ringgit 15 cent and 6 ringgit 30 cent a share. According to Group CEO Tengku Zafrul, the Malaysian institutional investors included the EPF and PNB. Zafrul told reporters that the bulk, however, was taken mainly by foreign investors. MUFG had been paring down its stake in the lender in recent months. It sees to be a substantial shareholder in April. India's Reliance Communications and Ananda Krishnan's Aircell are said to have aborted their merger plan. Bloomberg reports that the deal lapsed with mutual consent due to legal uncertainties and interventions by vested interests that caused delays in regulatory approvals. The deal would have created India's fourth largest carrier and allowed the companies more room to pay down combined debts that soared to about 9.2 billion USD as of the end of last year. For Krishnan, a deal with Reliance would have helped him hedge some of the risk of vying for subscribers in India's fragmented mobile phone services market. <laughs>